Hey y'all, I'm back. It's 7:14 a.m. Sorry for the high traffic. But um Yeah, so I think the girlfriend or the wife next door, I think she's still here, but I guess the boyfriend or the husband, I guess he must have left with that truck to go to work. <clears throat> um I you know, I so the truck is gone and I never I, like they've been here for like maybe four days <clears throat> and and I'm um they've been here for like four days and but I never saw their faces yet but <clears throat> um it's like when I was at hospitality in I had to deal with this you know, with the perps doing the same thing. And then it's like they were determined to stay there until after. I, and I had to be tortured by their noise from their loud truck. And then it's like, I bet you those bastards didn't leave until after I left. You know, so... I'm like, I mean, even though I know homelessness is not pleasant, it's like hard either way. You know, homelessness or being housed, they're going to make sure you're tortured. But, you know, I'm going to just keep on documenting whatever harassment that I'm going through. And, um... As I've said before, it's like I wish I would have known there was a way I could have got support in 2017 and 18. And, or even 2015 or whatever when I was living in Los Angeles, I, if I would have had some support. Um, you know, I wish I would have had some support and... I think if I would have had some support, then I, I, I think if I would have had some support, I think um, that probably could have prevented me from even being homeless, you know, but I didn't even know there was a support group for targeted individuals, but I knew I was targeted, but I didn't get the whole entire picture, you know, and I have like you know, a much better picture now, but I still don't 100% know everything, especially the electronic and technological um, parts, but the physical gang stalking, I know more about that. And based on my own experiences, I know more about that than I know about the electronic or technological stuff. I mean, I know about the drones or whatever, fake stars or in the sky and stuff, but as far as, um, like, detecting, I, I guess, radi well, I don't know if you call it detecting radiation or EMF detector or whatever, that and, um, like, the hacking and cloning of your phone and all that, um, some of the, some of the electronic stuff, I'm not too familiar with, and I, with my struggling with comprehension and everything, I guess I have a difficult time grasping that too, but, um, like, say if somebody's hitting you with, in the heart with the director energy weapons, and then, um, you get hit in the heart with the director energy weapons, and then you take your phone and, I guess, measure, um, the EMF or whatever, something like that and the shielding I pretty much don't practice I, well a lot of shielding techniques I don't have the money for but also um I still need a way to get to get me some spy glasses <clears throat> but um I can't even get pat remember yesterday I was saying I can't even get packages or mail or anything really that much so can't get spy glasses and a lot of things, um, the new agers, a lot of shielding techniques, 
um, some of them that they suggest or subscribe, I mean, prescribe or suggest, suggest, why can't my words can't come out right? They, they prescribe or suggest new age solutions. And so, um, the new age fake solutions to shielding and, um, stuff like that. So, and those are the popular fakes who are doing that, or, or they feel like, oh, well, I don't trust you as a real T.I. because you don't do shielding or whatever, or, oh, I don't trust you because, or, or I don't think you're real because you don't get V2K like me, and, or you don't hear the voices like I do, so therefore you can't be real, and I'm like trying to show them videos about my um physical gang stalking, like the one headlight and stuff, and then I get blocked. And they'll block me and call me a perp while they do stuff like say that they get V2K and be like, well, I drink a lot. They, they'll be like, well, I drink a lot of alcohol and I um, I smoke a lot of weed and get high and I do crystal meth and that takes away the voices and stuff, you know. So they'll say that smoking weed gets rid of the voices and stuff, but I do not recommend any of that, you know, but it's it's. It seems like they got some some fake T.I. perps who, that make, they make it like as if they just get V2K and that and that's it. And then they turn around and perp me, you know. Or they'll make it like as if they're envious of me because I don't get V2K, but I get all the other shit, you know. And so... <clears throat> It's, it's like, I'm pretty much being more attacked now. And last night, for the first time in a while, they vibrated the shit out of my whole body. And I wasn't even laying down. Like, I was sitting up, and they vibrated me. <clears throat> so, we got to be on our guards because almost like, I, I try to YouTube search, you know, gang stalking and witchcraft, hoping that I can get some information that, um, from a Christian point of view that would expose it. But they got a lot of these people who claim to be t doing all these videos and got high views, high subscribers and everything, doing tarot card readings or role playing games. And they're acting like as if they're, um, they're embracing witchcraft and not shy about it while acting like they're speaking against targeting at the same time. So I had to use like hardcore discernment and like be on the watch because I was trying to search for anyone else who has video, who's a Christian targeted individual who have videos speaking out against or exposing you know, the witchcraft component of gang stalking. You know, I looked that up this... I looked that up this morning because of what happened in the middle of the night. <clears throat> you know, it's freaking bizarre. And a, and a lot of people would think you're crazy and they don't understand it. Well, they understand it, but they'll just front, like, gaslight you in front like they don't understand it. So, you know, I'm saying again, you know, beware of these people who profess to be targeted individuals. And some of them do show proof of their um evidence of themselves being gang stalked, but it's weird cuz they'll they'll do stuff like glorify and embrace witchcraft, new age and um stuff like that and they'll try to mix christianity with new age and witchcraft and they got a lot of them on here and so they it's like the sincere christian targeted individuals what they do is it's like they, they'll tell you straight up from the bible or show you from the bible and they don't even have a whole bunch of subscribers like they might have and and they might have like 14 video views that's how you tell that they're, they're more like legit you know 
or if they don't have that many video views or subscribers. But then again, I've seen a couple of people, you know, who have no proof of their gang stalking. But they'll just sit behind a computer and talk about, oh, this is what happened, you know, and stuff like that. And and they have a history of perping me, like T.I. turned perp or fake T.I. perps. And they want to act like they're all spiritual. Like, you've perped me before. But then you want to act like you're all spiritual and all Christian and act like you want to be into speaking against spiritual warfare and Christianity and acting like as if you're fighting against these demons and witches. But then at the same time, you perping me. Like you've done certain things to perp me, you know. And so also, I never personally had a problem with Ochu 1980. I think his name, Ochu 1981. But I saw some videos of him speaking out against witchcraft and talking about how thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. But then there was another professed Christian who exposed him for being like a reptilian. Him and Michael Barden were exposed as reptilian. So, you know, I don't even know if Ochu, if he took a deal and, um... He acted like he was speaking against another target who I haven't seen her around in a while. And I can't think of her name at the moment, but he acted like he was speaking against her and called her all kinds of witches. But she had footage of herself being gang stalked, but I didn't see any witchcraft on her end. But, you know, people were saying, I mean, the other person, I'm like, well, wow, so it's Ochu who's the evil one and not this lady. But this other lady I felt suspicious of because I thought she was a perp or whatever or a fake targeted perp. And I didn't trust, like she wanted to contact me, but I didn't trust, like I was scared. To, um, You know, but I don't even know if she's a real T.I. or not, but I did see some footage of her being targeted. But um, something in my gut for some reason didn't trust her, but they got I'm I'm just warning they got these people out here that profess to be Christian and targeted and then they turn around and practice witchcraft or new age and start to perp you know and it's like really confusing cuz they'll lead, lead you on to think they're the real deal as a Christian targeted individual and they dabble into the occult and stuff like that. Um, so it's like, I got to be careful about what I watch. You know, what what YouTube videos I, I watch or whose channels to subscribe to. Because, you, you know, I need some sincere, genuine people, you know, to expose the truth. Rather than, you know, these wolves in sheep's clothing and modern day Pharisees and stuff. Is that him again? I don't know if that's that guy again. But, um, I've heard this idea of people talk, talking about, oh, demons leap on people. Or they'll talk about CERN and the portals and stuff like that and say that, you know, with CERN and the portals that, oh, so many demons will leap on everybody. But then again, I hear about the Bible scripture about God pouring his spirit on all flesh, you know. So what's the deal here? <clears throat> but um, people are becoming more evil. It seems like at the same time, people are becoming increasingly evil. But at the same time, it's like more people are becoming awakened to the truth. But I don't know. It's kind of complicated. But, like, religious narcs who pretend to be against the Illuminati and New World Order and all. It's like they'll use that to exploit empaths who are, you know, they'll, the narcs, they'll pretend like as if they're fighting against the New World Order and everything. But then they will use that to exploit an empath 
you know, or a disabled person, you know, they'll use that to exploit and take advantage of you. You know, if you know the same thing, you got knowledge, you don't know everything, but you got some knowledge of the truth about, you know, the, um, you know, what's going on in the world and the spiritual aspects of it and stuff. Like, if you got some spiritual discernment or whatever, and then, you know, a religious narc or, you know, a fake T.I. perp narc, they'll act like as if, They'll they'll act like as if um they'll try to act like they got try to be in competition with you, like they'll act like as if they have a right to know all this information but you don't, and they yell at you say you better start researching, but you know they'll say you know real research is in the Bible. You want some re- real research? You better get in that Bible. But then they turn around and it's like they got all this literature. And basically trying to control what you should research. Like Lisa Ruby, she was doing a lot of that. Professed to be Christian. Professed to be a target individual. Wanted to be a fake deliverance minister. And she controlled. Like she's supposed to be. A, was, supp- was supposed to be a so-called friend. But she pretty much tried to like micromanage and control every damn thing I did or said. <coughs> so... <coughs> And they're nitpicky about your sins, but but they feel like they don't have to sin. I mean, I'm sorry, they don't have to be... They, they feel like they're exempt from being condemned about whatever sins they commit. But they but they love to attack you and point out all your... All what they perceive of to be, um, you know. So... It's like Miss Lisa Ruby and Tracy Broadhurst. I'm going to say it again. They did a number on me. And it seemed like as if they were wrestling with each other. Not physically, but, you know, wrestling with each other for battle for control over me. I guess who's going to try to be Candy's handler or whatever. <clears throat> but um, they both used the Bible to play all kinds of psychological games. And Miss Tracy Broadhurst also claimed to be a targeted individual as well a christian targeted individual as well and they both you know they act like as if they speak out against witchcraft and everything but they are like manipulative pretty much you know and so if you got somebody like who's supposed to be a friend of yours friend family member and if you realize that they're using the Bible to um, manipulate, exploit, and control you, you know, I guess anybody trying to control you and you don't feel comfortable about it, I mean, run away if you can, you know. Um, I'm surprised that I survived what they did to me. And then being heavily vibrated and tortured every single night. You know, um, and some people say that, like, when they vibrate your body or they keep torturing you with the elect- electronic harassment, like they're vibrating me now, <clears throat> um, they say, do not stay in the same spot. So that's why you see a lot of targeted individuals living in hotels and motels or they end up homeless. But, hey, I was freaking homeless on the streets and still being tortured and attacked and targeted with the vibrating and um, even on the streets. So I heard that basically if you stay in the same spot and they torture you with the director energy weapons, I heard that, that you know, you can die from that or, or they can kill you. You know, so I'm hearing a lot of different things. And guess what? Speaking of that, I came across another targeted individual who was staying in and out of hotels. And I guess he was homeless too, but... Um, he would, he would, like, I saw, like, I didn't click on the videos, but I saved them to watch for later, you know, on a, on one of my playlists, and he, this, this guy, he is a targeted individual, he also, you know, 
got kicked out of a lot of hotels and motel. I don't know about motels, but kicked out of a lot of hotel. Well, I don't know about a lot, but he was kicked out of more than one hotel. So, um, one more thing before I go, and I'm pretty sure I'll have more videos or things to talk about later on, but yesterday morning, I thought that I got, a, I must have got a raise or something, but come to find out I didn't because this morning I looked at my little cake, my little account, and I realized I got, you know, the 83.70 and net pay for the day but yesterday morning I got paid like a hundred two dollars and some change as net pay so I don't even know if I must have just got a, like maybe a twenty dollar one time bonus maybe for for being employed for for over 60 days or something like that that's what I'm that's what I'm wondering um so I, I'm gonna check and try to ask you know did I get like a little, a small little bonus or something like that, you know? <clears throat> so, I'm going to go for the moment. Oh, Friday and Saturday, I'll be busy. Very busy. And, um, I kind of can't wait till Saturday. I don't want to say why, but, you know, I, I mean, I won't be able to accomplish certain things on Friday I won't be able to accomplish so I have to wait until Saturday I have to wait until Saturday to um do what I couldn't do on Friday but I know I have busy errands on Friday definitely and Saturday <sighs> something I cannot wait but I, I'm not telling I'm not saying anything because these doggone online perps you know but anyway so I'm still going to be fighting, you know, battling. Like, I'm going to go for now, and I'll just talk to y'all later. Love y'all. See y'all in a bit.